guys, today I have a set of gachapon, gacha, gachapon toy capsule. But like, what is the correct term, guys? Like, gachapon is copyrighted by Bandai, gacha is copyrighted by another company. I don't know what to call them. Anyway, I have a set of little gacha squishies here. These are all little breads, and this is a metal pang. So before you guys tell me that I squish my squishies wrong, I do want to say that there is not just one way to squish squishies. Second of all, I don't like ruining the packaging or the squishy. Like if it has plastic covering like this, it gets all wrinkly and doesn't look nice. And also with squishies, if you you know squish them up in your hand, they can rip, they get wrinkly. And while I understand that some people like to squish squishies for like stress relief and because that's what they like to do with their squishies, I see mine more as collectibles, so I like to keep them in mint condition. So I hope you understand when I don't squish all of my squishies the way that you want them to be squished. Anyway, getting back to the different breads, there are five different breads here, and the first one is a melon pod. And this one, ooh, it's a super soft squishy. Now, I have not had a new squishy in quite a long time, but these are super cute, especially because I love foods and miniatures, and this fits into both themes. Now, while I did say that most of my squishies are collectibles, I would love to get one of those uh, soft, slow-rising ones. I would love to squish one of those to death. Next, we have a loaf of bread, and it's packaged like a uh, loaf of bread is here in Japan. It's not sliced, it's just a chunk of bread, and it's a very soft, squishy, as you guys can tell, I think. Since these are gacha squishies, gacha squishies, I feel like I say it different every time. Since these are toy capsule squishies, they were, I think they're 200 yen each, 300 yen at the most, so they're super cheap, and they are tiny, but I just love how cute they look. So, here's a little French toast. Now, they do sell French toast like this here in Japan. I don't know if they do in other countries, but it's basically a piece of bread coated in kind of a buttery, sugary, eggy substance and then packaged like this. So, again, as you can see, this one I can squish a little better without ruining the packaging. It is very, very soft. Next, this is a very Japanese-y one. It is an anpang, which is red bean filled bread. A lot of people, not a lot of people, I shouldn't say it like that. Some people don't like red bean paste. I mean, Mr. Panda. I like it. I think it's good. And I like it in bread. I like it in mochi. And yeah. <laughs> you can see the sesame seeds on the top here. So it looks like a real ampang. And they have it textured and colored really, really nicely. I didn't show you the back of the other ones. But even the packaging has like labels and... This is really high quality. It's a melon pun too. So here's a little squish for you guys. Probably not as satisfying as you would like, but if you want to squish these, you can buy them yourself because I got these from a Lakuten shop and they do ship internationally. Now I'm not sponsored, so I don't have any coupons for you or anything, but they have very decent prices. The Gashapons, I think they're even maybe lower than real t retail price. I'm not sure about that, but they have uh, fast shipping and I love it. Finally, we have the Jamu Pan, and this is basically just a roll with jam inside. It's uh, strawberry jam bread, it says, and it looks like that. Can you guys see? If I squish it on the edge here, you can kind of see how squishy it is. So, these are my little toy capsule squishies, and I kind of let my collection die down, and I haven't really been collecting much lately, but since squishies seem to be coming back in, and there are a lot of new cute ones, I will try to pick up some here and there. So if you have any requests, let me know, and keep me updated on the latest squishy news. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!